Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today I'm about to head out and do a little bit of research on the two Thargoid variants, the Cyclops and the Basilisk. But first, I wanted to take another quick look here on New Moon. Now you may remember my previous video on the episode of Discovery where I did a nice time lapse here. But today I wanted to show you a slightly different perspective of the Earth-like world here. As you can see, uh, the world itself is in full daylight while we're still in darkness down here. So this really just goes to show that sometimes when you find a nice location, maybe somewhere misfilled, somewhere as very dark, you can return to it at a later date and see that it is dramatically different. It's not because anything is within the game has changed or anything has been downgraded, it's simply a due to orbital mechanics. In short, it's due to science. And this means that things change from day to day and even from hour to hour and the time lapse was a great example of that. If you haven't had an opportunity to see that yet, I'll link it below in the video description. So here we are in the Electra system or thereabouts and it's another community goal again to progress the Aegis story with the Thargoids and yes it's very difficult to talk about the Thargoid story without also talking about its pacing and also talking about the repetitive nature of the community goals but that's not something I want to focus on too much here, at least not in this particular video. I've seen the comments before in the uh, in people's feedback, and really when you look at the contributors here, just 81 contributors for this community gold, keep in mind this has been running for 20, what, 24 hours now. So yeah, not a lot of people are really getting involved, at least with that one. And what do we got here? Again, around about 90 people. So really, it seems no one's really bothering too much with these particular community goals. And that really is a bit unfortunate, both for Frontier, but it's also unfortunate for the players, because I guess they're not too interested in this particular aspect of the gameplay. And please don't get me wrong, I don't set out to make these videos and then point out the obvious or make complaints, at least not in this type of way. But like I said right near the start, it's very difficult to talk about the Aegis story, the Thargoid story, or even the community goals without highlighting the obvious, and those things really are in your face. At any rate, please let me know below what you feel and how you think about this. I'd love to hear from you, especially people who have actually been involved in this particular uh, community goal, and what's your thoughts and feelings on it. At any rate, I'm out here now in my gunship, and it's pretty well specced up for hull tanking, which I believe I'm going to need here. I don't plan on engaging the Thargoids in any combat, it's just a case of getting the research limpet in, waiting for it to collect the samples and then run in. But you do need to be able to withstand a fair amount of damage. Now I did come out here without the uh, fighter bay on this particular variant, and I thought I'd be okay as I know I can withstand quite a bit of damage from the Cyclops. Now you have seen me do this before in a previous video, but I wanted to show the Cyclops off again, and then we'll move on to the Basilisk. And you're about to see a little bit of a comparison there, at least in terms of the amount of damage they actually deal. Now you do have to wait around a while for the uh, Limpet to collect and do its job, and then it will return back, and you're good to go. At least, as long as they don't get destroyed en route. Now do pay attention to the Thargon Swarm there, and we'll have a look at them again with the Basilisk. I believe that's just 32 Thargons in that particular swarm, whereas the Basilisk has 64, and they have some pretty nice animation to them. In fact, lead programmer uh, Mark Allen spoke about this on the Frontier livestream just yesterday, and if you haven't had a chance to look at that, there's quite some good information there, as well as a good few close-up looks at how the Thargons do actually operate. Now, I managed to catch the sample from the Cyclops, and got away with 81% of hull intact. Things didn't go so well with the Basilisk, though. But I did bring the fighter here because I knew I'd need a little bit of protection as the fighter can act as a pretty good diversion, although usually it doesn't last very long at all. Now remember what I said about the Thargon Swarm, just have a look at how they function here. You see some stunning patterns from them and it does look very, very impressive. They do deal quite a lot of damage though, as does the Basilisk itself. The fighter lasts close to a few minutes with the Cyclops, but here with the Basilisk it lasts mere seconds. At any rate, unfortunately for me, a number of things went wrong here. As you can see, I didn't have my cargo hatch open. I thought I did, but for whatever reason, the keybind didn't seem to work. Perhaps I pressed the wrong button, and in the end I just assumed that maybe I'd set the power settings wrong, and the module or the cargo hatch was simply disabled. 
as you can see here it's all fine no problem there so unfortunately it meant i need to send out a second research limpet to get another sample burning through the fighters pretty fast here and they cannot keep up with the demand they're still under construction cargo hatch open this time i'm keeping completely still and i've no idea what happened to the research limpet i suspect it got destroyed in the enemy fire there or the various explosions but either way it's time to get out of here as my hull is getting increasingly low and I don't want to lose a ship. So in the end then, despite three attempts, one with the Cyclops and two with the Basilisk, I only managed to get away with a single tissue sample. I don't know if I'll be back to collect any more, it's going to be interesting to see how this community goal progresses, it may be quite slow. Incidentally, it seems that this CG is for a new missile rack, and it appears it's likely to be a large missile rack, so it should make things a little bit easier, both with a basilisk as well as solo in the Cyclops. For now then, that's the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.